Hello, YouTube. Are you ready for this story? Well, let's get right into it. So this is a story that happened uh, when I was back at college. Uh, I graduated college May 2018, but this happened when I was a freshman in college. So everybody uh, who's gone to college have heard crazy, good, bad um, roommate situations. Um, so I'm going to tell you about a roommate situation that one of my friends had. So first off, uh, when I lived in college, um, my freshman year of college, I was placed with a random roommate for the first like month and a half, but then he switched out uh, to someone else, but I had uh, my friend move in. Um, so, but next door uh, was one of my friends. I'm going to protect his identity in this story. Uh, so I'll use a different name. Um, let's call him Brad. Um, <clears throat> so Brad, he lived next door to me. Um, and Brad had one roommate and I'm going to protect that roommate's, uh, identity by changing his name as well. Uh, let's call him, uh, Greg, Greg, Greg. Uh, so Brad and Greg, um, they did overall get along but they had different quite different lifestyles at the time uh they were the same major though uh, which was the same major as me communication arts um but uh um my friend brad at the time didn't have many life experiences in regards to uh, like sexual or party experiences or whatever uh, versus uh our friend um Greg had more experiences in that uh, and was like a stoner uh, and whatever. So it was uh, it was a really, really disgustingly messy room that they had. I'm a neat freak and I'm quite organized. Um, so that's why whenever I've lived with anyone, it just happened to look a lot better than the average person's dorm. Uh, but with their dorm, there would be like tons of clothes and random trash on the floor. Like you could, you could still see the floor, but not much. Uh, and it was cluttered. Uh, it, it looked like a clean hoarder's house, uh, which isn't that clean. So, uh, now let's get to the, the spicy, the, the, the dang content in this story. So there was a point in time where Brad, uh, apparently left his cock ring on Greg's bed. Um, from what I heard from Brad though, he doesn't remember ever doing that. Um, but... I heard this story uh, from Greg, um, like this official long story, or whatever. And then I, I told um, Brad about it after the year ended or no, a couple of years later, something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, once they once they were uh, not living together, because I thought it was just a better idea not to say it then. But at the same time, this is quite savage what happened. So what Greg did to get back at Brad uh, regarding that cock ring being on his bed, left on his bed, was Greg put lube here and there in Brad's shampoo. So that is quite savage. I don't recommend doing that, but I thought it was quite the interesting story, unique, um, cringe. Uh, they, they, uh, me and a lot of friends are quite savage. Uh, so this this comes as a surprise and not a surprise to me as well. Uh, so check out my other stories and you'll see why I feel that way. Because there are lots of crazy weird stuff that I've encountered in my life. In my life and around my life. So thank you for listening. Uh, just be careful where you put your cock rings and, uh, because some people may put lube in your shampoo. So I guess that's the story. Thank you for listening.